Hi, I'm Raven. In this video, we'll be going over the interface of the ScaleMail Inlay Designer version 2 beta. Right in the center of the screen, you can see we've got the editor interface. Exactly the same as the last one, you can simply tick your mouse across whilst you've got a tool selected to change the colors by clicking any scale that you want to change its color. In the top left hand corner of the user interface, you have various gray buttons, as well as a tool description. The tool description will change with some useful bullet points and hints depending on which tool you have selected. In the top left corner, we have New Pattern, Open, Save, and Share. Beneath that is your toolbox, with the cursor, pan, brush, various fill tools, row tools, column tools, and a replace color tool. In the bottom left hand corner, we have the palette, with 18 different colors, including three plastic colors. You'll note there's a suffix to tell you whether the color is mirrored or brushed. Quite useful for telling gold brushed and gold mirror apart. In the top right hand corner, we have settings, Kickstarter supporters, help and about, and then various camera tools for zooming in, zooming out, which you can also do with the mouse wheel, centering your view if you need to get back to the middle, zoom to extents if you need to zoom out from a very large pattern and get a glimpse of what you've been making, Flip Pattern, if you need to see your pattern from behind, such as when you're weaving it. And Reset View, if you need to go back to a standard default layout. In the bottom right hand corner, you have a breakdown of all of your pattern statistics. The colors that you've used, so you can make sure that you order the right number of colors. An estimated pattern width and height. And an estimated pattern weight, based on the number of scales and rings involved. Note that the weight does not include finishing, edging, or any sort of stabilization you may wish to do. It's worth noting that while you have certain tools selected, you may be restricted from using the editor. For example, if you switch to the pan tool, you'll be unable to interact with the editor. This is to prevent you from accidentally changing your pattern whilst you're scrolling around. If you need to pan whilst you're using a tool, you can either click the background or hold down spacebar if you're on a computer with a keyboard. Once you release the spacebar, you'll return to the previous tool selected. In the next video, I'll show you how to create your own patterns from scratch.